I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare pierogi z kapustą i grzybami. Those are pierogies with uh, cabbage and dried mushrooms and this is one of the dishes which has to be on my Christmas table. Uh, I hope you guys are going to give it a try and in case you do, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. So I'm uh, usually starting the, um, the night before, I'm uh, taking my mushrooms and I'm pouring some water over them just to soak them nicely and then I'm giving, giving them a stir, covering my bowl with a plastic wrap and leaving it overnight. It does not have to be overnight, you can just um, do it for at least two hours. Then I'm going to drain my cabbage and I'm going to give it a taste and mine was really sour so I had to uh, actually rinse it and then I drain it again and when that was ready I'm just transferring it into my saucepan and adding around a cup uh, of a cup and a half of water. Okay then I'm draining my mushrooms and transferring them to a to, uh, different saucepan, adding water to, uh, to cover them nicely, here we go, and then both my, our saucepans are going to the stove, we're adding our bay leaf to our cabbage, and then we're going to be cooking it until end mushrooms and cabbage is soft. It can take, for mushrooms, uh, even up to an hour. And then we're draining our mushrooms and draining our cabbage. And then I'm going to give a squeeze to the cabbage to get rid of um, any sauce. And then I'm chopping my cabbage very finely and again giving a squeeze to my mushrooms and then chopping them finely as well. Okay, now it's time to chop our uh, onion and on the high side uh, frying pan I'm adding some uh, oil, around 2-3 uh, tablespoons of oil and then I'm adding my onion and I'm going to be cooking it for around 2-3 minutes until my onion gets soft and glossy, just like that and then I'm adding my cabbage and mushrooms to it. I'm going to cooking it. We're going to be cooking it for five minutes. Well, basically, what we're trying to do right now here uh, to blend all the all the flavors as well as uh, getting rid of any liquid if there was left. Okay, I uh, I checked for seasoning. I'm adding pepper, and I have to also add some salt. But check it for the salt because if the cabbage was salty, you might not need to add any. Okay, then we're giving it a good stir and this is ready. Now in the large pot I'm filling it with water, adding a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to be bringing it to a boil while I'm working on my pierogi. In my food processor I'm adding the flour and then my salt. and then I'm going to be uh, pulsing it a few times just so the salt mixes with the flour nicely. Go and then I have on the side as you can see in the in the cap a hot water ready and it's around a cup and a half and I'm going to be slowly adding it watching what's happening with my dough and as you can see when you can still see the crumbles running around, that means you still need to add water. But when it looks like this, it's there no need for more water. Just another 30 seconds of processing and we are done. Now we need to uh, flour our surface. Okay, knead the dough a few more times, just, just when it get, stop being um, sticky. And then I'm cutting mine into uh, 
four pieces really and then I'm leaving a small piece and the rest I'm putting into a Ziploc bag because I don't want the dough to get dried and then we're rolling it adding some flour if it gets sticky and then we're trying to roll it to around two millimeters thick and when this is done with my cookie cutter but you can use a glass I'm cutting uh, circles and then taking the uh, remaining uh, dough and adding it into my Ziploc bag to still roll it out because we can still use it. Okay, and then I'm taking a round tablespoon of, uh, of my filling, putting it inside my, uh, my circle, sealing the edges. Now important stuff, you wanna flip the, the circle. So the part which was laying on the table is up and that's where you put your stuffing because this way it will close easier. And then I'm making a little bit of a decoration there. Now if you would have problems with, uh, with sealing, just, just wet your fingers a little bit. Now I have my, uh, uh, my uh, plate ready with a little bit of flour on it so my pierogi don't stick. And when I'm done with all of them, I'm moving to my pot and putting my pierogi into a boiling water. And then with the wooden spoon, I'm giving it a stir so they don't stack to the bottom. And then after my pierogi are uh, surf surfacing, <laughs> getting to the surface, I have my plates sprayed with the uh, non-stick spray and I'm taking my pierogi out. And when I am ready to, um, um, to serve them on the frying pan, I'm heating up around two tablespoons of oil and then adding my pierogi and frying them around a couple of minutes on each side until they are nice and golden brown. And then I'm having a, um, a paper towel um, on, my, uh, serve, on my plate just so I get rid of any excess oil. And that's about it guys. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Please let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Bye!